Good evening. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. This just in from Breckenridge, where a snowboarder died today on Peak 6, likely after hitting a tree. The coroner reports 48-year-old Alan Lai lost control on a blue run, Reverie, around 2 p.m. Cause of death is pending an autopsy. This is the second inbounds fatality here in Summit in the past four days, and fifth of the season in Colorado. History shows you have been more likely to die traveling to the slopes than on them until recently. 30 years of coroner's reports show blunt force trauma is the leading cause of accidental death in Summit, and car accidents were the leading mechanism for fatal trauma before the past decade. Since 2012, deadly ski accidents have outnumbered deadly car crashes every year but two in 2016 and 2019. Authorities in the Vale Valley are searching for a suspect in a skier hit and run. This past Sunday, around 2 o'clock, a 13-year-old skier was hit by another skier above Bachelor Gulch at Beaver Creek. The teenager suffered several injuries. The suspect is described as a white male in his 60s with no facial hair and green and black skis. Call Eagle County Sheriff with info. Summit Sheriff booked or cited 17 people countywide last week for selling drugs, driving drunk, and deception. One man is wanted in Frisco for second-degree forgery up to $20,000. Another was arrested in Keystone for obstructing and trying to influence authorities. The week before, a man was given third-degree assault for spitting on a deputy. A false alarm at Breckenridge Elementary School this morning put students and teachers on lockdown. An alert was sent to parents this morning saying that false alarm happened around 9.52, Law enforcement and staff secured the campus, confirming there was no threat. This week on the State of Summit, we hear from Matt Renew, our correspondent with Nine News, covering the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. This is the first Olympics where it's all man-made snow. There, there's no natural snow out there, which obviously plays a little bit of a factor in how these athletes are going to perform. Fake snow is one curveball. But the biggest, of course, is COVID. Yeah, everything's locked down. The area you're in is the only area you can be in. And then the hotel and competition venue, that's where you're going. The virus, he says, is already hitting athletes harder than it did at the Summer Games in Tokyo. I mean, Michaela Shipper obviously tested positive weeks ago. Uh, Sean White talked about having it over Christmas. And now uh, the Norwegian ski team tested positive for coming out their cross-country team, and they're the best in the world. And it is not just competition that gets upended by the virus. We had talked to Red Gerard uh, about these games and how he was so caught up in the first one that he didn't really do anything, and he was really looking forward to this one so he could just relax a little bit at these games and then take in some of these events as well while he's there, and this, that's not going to happen. Like he did for Tokyo, Matt is covering the games from right here in Colorado with competition watch parties and more. And we'll be checking in starting Friday with the opening ceremony. Tune in again next Wednesday for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. In sports, the Nuggets play the Jazz tonight at 8 on ESPN. And in local sports, Summit High boys and girls basketball are in Steamboat Springs tonight. Tigers hockey's playing Glenwood away. Wrestling is hosting a home meet. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.